Teresa, if fate really has brought Ethan back to you, then why are you still wearing Jared's engagement ring? I don't know. I mean, yeah, you know, Jared is gone. He gave me an ultimatum. He said press charges against Ethan or he's gonna leave. So I didn't, so he did. Yeah, but you know it doesn't have to be over. I told you, you can, you can go I to know, Ethan. I know, to go to Ethan and, and tell him that he can take Jane, he can find Gwen, and he can move somewhere far away so that he can be out of my life forever, but I, I, I couldn't do that. Okay, well, what about Jared then? I mean, I feel bad, Whitney, but, you know, he said that there is no hope for us. And if Jared left me and Gwen left Ethan, doesn't that tell you something? Teresa, Gwen has left Ethan before, you know, but she's always come back. What if she comes back? W what if she's on her way back to Harmony at the very second? No, no, don't say that. No, she's not. Not this time. This time is different. She smashed her wedding ring with a hammer, Whitney. No woman who has any intention of ever coming back would do that. No, Ethan, he's free. I need him to understand. I mean, come on, you're my best friend. You know everything about me. You know all my secrets. Look, I honestly thought that my dream of a life with Ethan was dead. But I was wrong. And I have the chance to make all of those dreams come true. I, I don't know, it's just that every time you start talking like this, something bad happens. <laughs> you know, you could work things out with Jared. You know you could. I, no, not this time. No, I lost him, and I'm, and I'm not going to lose my chance to be with Ethan. Take a look in the kitchen. That's what every woman wants. Right? A man who loves her, children, and it's right there. Please, don't be angry with me. Tell me you support. Dreams do come true. Can you blame me for wanting to have a life with Ethan, the father of my children? Well, you know, I, I do have to say you are right about one thing. Smashing your wedding ring, it's pretty final. Maybe Gwen really is gone for good this time. Then, then you agree with me? Well, Jared didn't necessarily leave the door open for you two to work things out either. I mean, he's definitely gone. No, he was emphatic. And if Gwen does divorce Ethan, then Ethan doesn't have to keep his marriage vows. No. He'd be free, Whitney. Just tell me I'm doing the right thing. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Maybe, you know, just maybe you do have a chance. Maybe. No, no, better than maybe. Honey, this time I have a real good chance to be with the man that I love. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Go for it. Do what you have to do to make it happen. I mean, you'll never be happy until you really do that, and I'll certainly never hear the end of it. <laughs>